The question I want to ask, does Mark Bowling have a Jamaican passport? The question I would like to ask is, were you fired or did you resign? The question I would like to ask is, why after 55 years in politics, according to you, you are nothing but Andrew and Juliet Bulldog? Don't you realize, Everard Warmington, that you are dispensable? That them get rid of you when them don't need you, and as soon as them need you, them draw you back in? The time you take their word about Mark Golding's passport, you would go and analyze your worth in the party that you've been a part of for 55 years. The question you need to ask yourself is why is it that they only invited you back after you tried to defend them in parliament when they made an ass of themselves? You need to ask your quest yourself that question and stop concerning yourself about Mark Golding's passport. Mark Golding doesn't answer to you, he answers to the Jamaican people. The time you're there making your fancy videos and trying to wash the mud off of you because everybody knows exactly what you are. You think you can clean up your you think you can clean up your reputation by putting on a pretty suit and standing up in front of pretty flowers, Mr. Warmington? You have a couple questions to ask yourself before you ask Mark Golding anything. Because you can't walk in Mark Golding's shoes. Sit, boo boo, sit. Good boy. I posted a video last night where a JLP supporter, Solid Rock JLP supporter, somebody will run back to Andrew. And make complaint for Andrew what they say. In big Andrew house from Wapi kill Philip. And uh, them not even look upon him. And me talk about this diarty thing because this brother is a diarty labor right. I may talk about this diarty labor right. And you have some people in the comment section I uh, say if PJ did make people suffer, that means that Andrew Wellness can make people suffer too. So me must leave Andrew Wellness alone. Is this where the country at right now? Is this is where the country at right now? Where politician, the leader, must not wall accountable for what they have done? I really want somebody to tell me down below in the comment section. And next thing where they have upon them shoulder. PNP did have a country for 18 years and them never did see no better. Some of just born just yesterday and don't know nothing about politics. Oh no, 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 nothing. You understand me? I say so. Stop talk about eighteen years ago because somehow no young, young, young. And most of them they say eighteen years ago. I want to hear Andrew Wallace say. So now follow back Andrew Wallace. But bless up to my viewers and my subscribers. Them. Me hope everybody having a blessed and a wonderful day. Now my viewers and my subscribers, remember in everything you do, always put God first in every and uh, any situation. Just always remember for call upon God. Always remember to pray because a prayer day keep the devil away. Now, my viewers and my subscribers, we have a lot coming up inside this video, so you definitely don't want to miss none of it. All right, make a run the intro and come back. We soon forward. So, welcome back to my viewers and my subscribers. Them. Big up to all of my viewers, big up to all of my subscribers. Them. We continually support the channel and help the channel to grow. Now, remember to leave a like on this video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're a new viewer's first time on my channel, then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell. So whenever we drop new content, you will be first to be notified. All right? Now, people, remember to share the content. Share it with a friend, a family, a loved one. Share it on your social media platform. Alright, now people, before we go any further, I just want to say R.I.P. to a real soldier. Yeah man, a real, real PNP soldier. Chop out. And we just want to say R.I.P. So well known, People's National Party PNP activist Ricardo Taz James is dead. James was reportedly found unresponsive at his home on Thursday morning and was taken to the Spanish Town Hospital where he was pronounced dead.
Taz was known for bringing the vibes to numerous PNP conference over the years. He would entertain comrades with the latest dance move. Cha -cha. I just want to say my condolences goes out to the family and the friends of Ricardo James. You understand? You know it's never easy to last a loved one. May his soul rest in peace. You understand me? I say, go and dance for boss. Big up yourself. Now, people, big up Ricardo in the comment section. On the Japan, condolences on the RIP and something. In the comment section for Ricardo. You understand me? I say, he passed away early this morning. So, people, Japan, RIP in the comment section. And remember to leave a like on this video as well. Alright? So now, we're moving on. Any day, Jamaica find another government like Michael Mandley, we gone clear again. Because Michael Mandley was the best government Jamaica have ever seen. I remember back in the 70s when I was a little youth, Jamaica used to run nice and sweet. The economy up. Tourists used to swarm Jamaica. Even the Jamaican dollars did value more than the American dollars. People could sleep with them windows and them doors open. The government used to send in the cube and them to come build up roads, schools and hospitals, free education, jam all for adult people who want to go back to school for, to learn. Michael Manley did tell we say, on a plant up to on a backyard, because as a nation, we have to feed ourselves. And from the day in the 1980, when Michael Manley came out of power, Jamaica turned down Angoli. I'll know it no come back yet. So me are telling us, say, if Jamaica get back another government like Michael Mandley, we can clear again. But if not, dog nyam we supper. When you hear me I tell you no? Me shocking Murray said that. So for the taxi man they will love sweets now. Andrew Wallace check them again. Yes man. All promises them where Andrew Wallace bet them fee. The first of April. Right now, so they are the fourth of April. And them still cannot get the promises that Andrew Wallace made to them. Now them come out on a course which them did know say. This man never did ever fulfill his promises. Everybody did know say it is all a trick to get them vote. But when me look at me see the size ticket, the way how the man raised up a ticket them. And taxi man have here pay some big fine for no reason at all. Me have to really look into it and me say then taxi man have sense. Them all gone pan campaign with them car. The same car where them have here pay much thousands of dollars of ticket for. Ticket gone all 200,000. And them same one go run back on June Wallace again. No, they are crying out. They are crying out. No people. Take a look at this video right now. Question, when JLP yeah, government is going to stop you know, playing three so card with the future of the people? I don't think I joke, man, I make. Some of you take it as offense, right? But you know better go jump fence because you see anytime pressure reach some of you, you know what I'm doing. Look for you, son, after the man them go, you know, and lice them vehicle, you know. I'm going show you all them jewelry, you know. After them go and lice them vehicle, you know, put back in the system. Thought more than less, eh, the 16% were out there, they will get it. First of April, come. it would have been effective because I'm saying the first quarter of the other area. What do you see happening right now? Eh? Right? Them put a different pan it, you know. It simply means it gone pan hole. Right? So you don't know when that I go, you don't know when that I go apply, you know. You don't know when it going to come in effect, you know. Because them do it when it pleases them. Right? So when me as a writer and a boss man, why you make the people them go license them vehicle and then you come and tell them this? You know how much 
a man if you pay for some of them insurance upon vehicle where they go borrow loan put pan. When you borrow loan for vehicle in a boss man, you can't put third party insurance upon that, you know. It have to be comprehensive in order to secure the loan, you know. So when a man not earning enough to pay for those insurance, it put him, in, it put him under severe pressure, you know. So right, you know, it's easier, right, you know, you go do some domestic work, right, you know, than actually a drive taxi because at the end of the month, by the time you take out all of your bills, you know, you don't really have much left more than a domestic helper, you know. Right? And just because you want to keep a single digit, right, in inflation, right, so therefore, the people them, right, who do the investment have to suffer the consequence. Before you did take your raise, why make you never think about single digit? Eh? On not take on your raise, you never think about that. And for no raise, long, long time more than what a taxi man I get. Right? It's not even probably a percent, right? And not even a percent of what owner I get. So me don't understand that boss, man. But the people, them, some of them is so ignorant, right? No, y'all can come tell me no about all I want to keep me and really come to agreement. Right? No for them attack and them no for them attack to please you. Because three quarters a driver were out here so never know nothing about no meat na keep. I frighten them frighten when them hear this. Right? So look into yourself, you know. And stop playing cheeky hard with the people them future, you know. Because when they jump up when you know, when the thirty five percent on agree say thirty five percent and I go split it in a two. Wanna give them nineteen percent. I know the other rest are, are 16 now for run. And the people them can't get it. And when the 19% they given to them, only they don't say people were collecting more than what they were supposed to collect. So automatically, nothing couldn't go on the fear again, you know. <laughs> Mr. Trickyard. So, let me say right now, probably it would be this 16% now that would have been benefited to them now. And this is the time when you not give them. Eh? Stop it, you know. On to stop play with the people them future. Stop play with it. Not because election done now. I want to feel you now like you know, I'm gonna stretch out that like a 16% so until next year. When, it, when election they close again, you know, come now. Add that 16%, they probably with another 2% upon it. Right? On play with the people them future. Remember, say, enough people have them bills to pay, you know. Them have them loan. For the car, them have loan for house, them have children that go to university. What do you expect? What do you think all the rich man alone picked the up by you? Eh? What do you think? What do you think, say, no poor man done in us, so I go make poverty embedded in them. So tell them can't get themselves out of it. And then you don't take them make footstool. Right? No for them have ambition. But just because I don't have no respect for the sector, that's why I don't treat it so. Because you know it's a classes, you know, deal with class and races, you know. But I left them to the I left them to you know. Eh. They might discipline, you know. I bet you, I bet you, I bet you, I bet you anything you know, do I come back to you know. Alright, make stop talking. You, know. you see me, me no sorry for them. And you know why me no sorry for them? The reason why me no sorry for them is because them no sorry for themselves. Seven years seven years worth of tricks. On a get. I wanna still fall for the chicks them. Where the man come back for? On an idiot. How can I be sorry for any of you that now learn? On a just now learn. On a go vote back for the same man with mash on a dung. Go on some big ticket. Make police attack with take on a vehicle from on. On a can't even feed on a family in peace. But yet still, on a still go back a vote for him. On a now learn, on a now no shame. You understand what I say? But people, say the thought and that down below in the comment section. Now, make we take a look at this video from Mark Golin. While Mark Golin shares some of his wise ideas to the people. We will revitalize the peace management initiative. Through the peace management initiative, we want to build a network in all of the violence prone communities across the country. Rolling out restorative justice, mediation, and other conflict resolution techniques at the community level. We will train and empower at least 500 violence interrupters across Jamaica. We 
will partner, we'll partner with the private sector and other stakeholders to expand Project STAR, which yes. they have initiated, and make it into a truly national program, yes. including yes. things like access to training, yes. mentorship, remedial education, and job placements for youth at risk. Yes. We will enact legislation that targets known vicious purveyors of criminal violence across Jamaica and brings them to justice, including through a court-supervised process of pre-charge detention that targets persons on whom there's credible intelligence to facilitate building viable cases that can result in a successful prosecution. Due process is critical here, and that is why it must be a court-supervised process. And Mr. Speaker, we will bring much greater focus on reforming the prison system to reduce the high level of recidivism. In other words, people who offend are imprisoned. When they're released, they offend again and come back into prison. That is recidivism. We need to reduce the high level of recidivism, which is very high in Jamaica, some 40%, I believe, by rehabilitating offenders to become productive citizens yeah, yeah, yeah. rather than re-offenders. Yeah, yeah. when they return to society. Every Jamaican has an interest yes. in a prison system that rehabilitates prisoners yes. and makes them productive yes. citizens. Yes. It is, we're fooling ourselves if we think that we can just ignore that, yes. let the prisons run in the way they currently run, and solve our national yes. security problem. Yes. We will provide the police force with the vehicles, equipment, and training that they need to efficiently respond and investigate and prosecute offenders. We will build out the Jamaica Eye system of cameras to enhance citizen security and ensure greater accountability for criminal behavior. It is an important part of making Jamaica safe. And we will provide mental health support, including adequate rest to our law enforcement officers to help them cope with the difficulties of their line of work here in Jamaica. And we will partner with non-governmental organizations to support well-designed and sustainable community-based interventions that focus on anger management, parenting skills, conflict resolution, and overall civility, and substantially increase the number of social workers to take on these critical tasks and build social cohesion within communities. Oh, see, Dr. Chang face a while ago, while... Mark Golden giving his speech. I wonder why I'm thinking in my mind right now. Because his face bent up in him. I wonder if I'm thinking of a thief Mark Golden ideas. Because they don't have no ideas, no people. They don't even have no ideas. You, you hear them come up with no crime plan ideas? No. They don't, no, they don't, no, they don't have no crime plan ideas. They don't know how to fight crime. No. Mark Golden give his speech. And they might hide a part of his speech. Because nobody knows about it. You know. But every minute, you see them show for and Jonas and the Nigel Clark speech in a paper and all of this something there. But nobody now show them solid ideas yeah, that Mark Golding had. You understand what I say? They may hide them. So that, that, that means eh, when they hide them, Dr. Chang and him team can go so bam and go rewrite the man ideas them. Uno no have no ideas, might as well not give up the country. Because uno, uno no have a crime plan. Uno no have a crime plan. All you think about is how to build prison. You hear what Mark Golden said? Him not think about how to build prison. He might think about how to make the youth them not go back to prison. And it's the same thing that we me always talk about. Me always talk about that say, why? Why you, 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 you just plan to keep the youths them behind bars for the rest of them life? When them have a future. Some of them just make the wrong decision. Them choose wrongly. But them still have a future. You understand? But the system continually have turned them in a monster. In a criminal. But my goal in ideas is to change that. Once you got prison one time, when you come back on the road, you're not supposed to want to go back because you have a life in front of you now. You might go change up a prison system. You hear um, Dr. Chang and Jules are, 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 are any one of them say they might go do that? No, them say they might go build more prison. That means eh, them want to get the ghetto youth 
half a street completely. They want to ruin people's life all the days of them life. And these are the people that you don't trust and want to vote for. We don't like ghetto youth. We don't like poor people. We don't like people pick me. The only thing that they want them think about is how to put them behind bars and lock them away for life. When they are the one that turn them into criminal. Some of them, they were forced. But yet still, they are stuck behind bars. And when they come out, they have no choice. They have to go back. Because that's the only life they know. You understand what I say? No crime plan they not have. None. But people still the thought on that down below in the comment section. And as usual, people, remember to leave a like on this video. Now, check out this other video, people. Welcome to On My Mind. This week, I want to touch on the issue of corruption, which has become an increasing threat to our way of life and our system of democratic governance under the rule of law here in Jamaica. I'm Mark Golding, and today I want to touch on some of the issues of concern to me in relation to this thorny matter of government corruption. Under the last PNP administration, led by the most honorable Portia Simpson Miller, I was the Minister of Justice and saw the need to design an overhaul of Jamaica's existing institutional framework for tackling corruption. At that time, there were several different entities, none of them operating effectively, all constrained by limited human and financial resources and the inability to share or receive information from other important areas of government, such as the law enforcement authorities and the taxation authorities. I therefore commissioned a team to research the international arena to see what were the best practices for setting up anti-corruption authorities and we designed a model and that model is ultimately what has become the Integrity Commission which was passed into law in 2018. The vast array of scandals that have plagued the current JLP administration led by Andrew Honus since they came to office in 2016 has necessitated Jamaica having a far more vigilant and robust system for tackling corruption. There has been the debushing scandal, the used car scandal for the police, Petrojam, Nessal, the Universal Service Fund, Caribbean Maritime University, just to name some. And more recently, of course, the Airports Authority of Jamaica, which deployed millions of dollars of public resources to invest in a startup when one of the directors had a personal interest in the company receiving the investment. Several ministers of government have had to resign over these various scandals, and some have been changed from one ministry to another, often having to do a stint in the naughty corner, which is a Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation. The truth is that there has been a code of conduct for ministers embodying what are known as the seven principles of sound governance. That ministry paper was introduced in, I think it was 2001, under the administration of the former Prime Minister, Most Honourable P.J. Patterson. Yet, despite the existence of that code of conduct for 20 years, we have seen this proliferation of scandals under the current government, implicating several different ministers under the, the watch of the Prime Minister. This is why when the Integrity Commission, which has as one of its mandates under law the development of codes of conduct to try to guide the conduct of public officials in a direction of probity, integrity, and conscionable use of public resources. When they developed a leadership code of conduct, again mirroring those seven principles, I decided that rather than just sign it on behalf of the Shadow Cabinet, I would sign it myself, but also ask all of the members of the Shadow Cabinet to sign it individually, having read it and digested its contents. And I got the permission of the Integrity Commission to do that. And I'm happy to say all of the members of the Shadow Cabinet of the People's National Party in opposition have signed the Leadership Code of Conduct of the Integrity Commission. Sadly, that is not the case in relation to the government who have been stubborn in refusing to sign it from the Prime Minister to all his ministries and one can only ask why it is a document which embodies sound principles international best standards and I think it is necessary to focus the attention of each minister on the commitments that he or she must have to the people of Jamaica to govern our country properly by signing that code of conduct we must defend the Integrity Commission from its current attack in Parliament and no doubt elsewhere by the current government. 
Civ the citizens of Jamaica, our civil society institutions must all put down their feet resolutely to defend this institution, which is the bastion against corruption in our country. Thank you for joining me to hear what's on my mind. Please remember, stay informed, stay vigilant, and continue to advocate for a corruption-free society. Together, Jamaica, we can make a difference. Now listen to that speech. The man now kill up himself. He now jump up, he now beat up him chest. But he now put across his message. And he want everyone to understand the message. When you ever hear Andrew Wallace and Nigel Clark ever come out and say they are going to put in place something to fight against corruption. No, they will never do that. Because they are so corrupted. They are corruption themselves. So how can they fight against corruption? This man, them call him Mark Golden. So like a, what you call him? Michael Manley. Yeah man, the right name there. Michael Manley. Him so like him mean Jamaican good. Him so like him want the best for the youths of Jamaica. The children that are being abused. Him so like him want to change the life of our young youths. And give them a better life. When you ever hear no other politician come out and talk like this, like the mean Jamaican youths, any good. Somehow we need to stop and jump up, jump up and follow a nice because a bag of nice and a hype now work out. You understand? And somehow no too dieted. Uno too dieted. So no can't get the message that I put across because uno dieted. And according to one say, the other party when a power for 18 years, I don't know so what them do. So now give one next party, 18 years now, for mash up the country. Them in a party, them in a power for, what, seven, seven years I had now? And guess what? Out of the seven years I had, are the worst Jamaica ever, ever feel. You understand me? I say? Them come in and them pressure the youth them. Them treat the youth them like a dog. When the big C come out, if somebody ever say nothing too tough or you go out the road and you walk on the road, police come hold you, beat you, kick you, box you, take you, go lock you up, you have to pay much money. I can remember this old lady where she have to pay 500000 and when she got caught, no, them charge her 100000 and when she got caught, the judge charge her 700000 dollars One poor, poor woman, you know. Go for go buy one mackerel and say, you know. One mackerel and something. The woman go for go buy. And that was the outcome. 750,000. For what? For go buy the mackerel? And you would go tell me, say, these people love people? Them no love nobody. Nobody. Them couldn't keep them big party. Celebrate themselves and mock poor people. But poor people could have not even play one radio in the yard. Or else you don't them come and lock up anybody in the yard. And charge them how much? Hundred and thousand. And you are going to tell me say these people mean we no good? You are going to tell me say these people mean we no good? The country locked down few much years. And when Andrew anniversary come up, he moved back the country to keep him anniversary. Wow, COVID never did keep in time there. When election time come up, when he, when he ready for call election, because he say people in the pan film side, him hurry up and call election in the same big C time. So hold well on, it, big C never they keep in time there. So how can you tell me say these people mean we no good? When them only do things for benefit themselves. But some are so blind and they can't even see. It come like a colour come down over on a yai ball. Or something because you're not blind to everything when they go on in this country. You're not blind. You're not blind to every single thing that is going on inside of this country. Just like this man from down at St. Elizabeth right now. Me and this opposition are begging every day for better life. They have me and this because I don't feel you right. If not fall cope, God Almighty changed the life now, Mr. Prime Minister. Because I'm not happy to build what I'm clinic with no say. And I beg me, I beg them time there. Me mash up no hand on dog. Me go boat fi 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 counsla where the women no think fever. You are in fever, my golly. But to me, I live with go boat fi counsla. All no me no know him.
no ambition. That's the thing I talk about. On a two diet and no sense. Because at the end of the day, you did it on your two foot, the run back of Andrew Wallace. And the same Andrew Wallace make you fall on your face. Make you falter now. You live like a dog. You live in a bag house with your wife. Your wife losing foot and have sickness and all of them something there. Even though it can happen to anybody, so I'm not to beat upon that neither. You develop almost sickness, same way. You run up in a bankruptcy, you lose everything where you have. And the same Andrew Wallace where you run back, you beg him one house. And for years now, you catch up in a one bag house. You see them labor right people, them. The same people, them. Where you run up and down with pan campaign, they call a dog. And they tell you how oh, you live in a bag house. And you say it out of your own mouth and a mean. And you say it out of your own mouth and a me say it. And you say so. It upon the record. So the same people them. Where you run up and down with. And they call a dog. And they disrespect you now. Because you don't do nothing at all. And they not help you but neither. You run out go vote what they are. Even though you are in your sixth stage. And you not get no help from them. But true you die at it. You still come out and go vote for them same one. Them same one. This reminds me of when I was in there one at a time. And Storm blew up. I believe a Ivan went blew up and blew off the whole stop up there. And he looked people them ungrateful so till. Labor right come and come look for you and fix up your stop. And we look PNP come after and fix your stop. And when PNP don't fix your stop, they run out PNP out of the yard. Ungrateful people them. Ungrateful set of people them. Them no no good and them no want no good for themselves. So some time we can't even sorry for some of them because the green block up there yeah, and then can't see them they are and dunce and stupid. You understand me say, who could have made me come out of my yard in my sixth stage? After me, I beg my prime minister one house. Me know my prime minister personally. And me. Reach out to him and beg him one house and he can't give me the house for much years now. And me still go back. Say me can vote for him. You idiot. Anybody want my vote have to, have to build up one house, give me. So me can live somewhere. But you live on a tree, you live on a bag house. But yet still you get up. Half of your sick bed. Can't go and vote. And God bless if you don't care your, your wife go out there now. Go vote as well. Only not no shame, only not no ambition, and that's one thing I always realize with people who support the Jamaican Labour Party. Them no want nothing out of life. Them no want no better. Them just take anything what they get, and them are right with that. Them no want no better. And when you talk, them feel like they be shut down because they cannot stand the truth. Them cannot even. Stomach the truth. It's a disgrace. Look how Cliff use. And look when the man say. In come out go vote. And all of that people. Cha -cha. After you just. Say to Cliff you say. You reach out to Andrew Wallace. For one house. And them have your go round corner. Right round corner. Right round corner. And you spend up your millions of dollars. Plus. Go borrow much millions of dollars from the bank. Say so you build up clinic for benefit the JLP and run up in a bankruptcy with it. Now look at you now. Look at you now. Come out of your bed. Gang and support the same people them will bring you down to ground. The same people them will make you jump on your nose bridge. And them will not help you. You still come out with your blind eye them. Cause you couldn't can see, you know. I mean, I feel like I say. Your brain the function right, we are such thing. Because there is no way at all. There is no way at all. Me could not reach out to some politician for help. And them not help me. And me get up off of my backside go vote for them. You idiot. Hmm? You clowning? How can I reach out to Mark Golin and Jules for help? And none of them not help me. But yet still, me go on a polling station go and vote. I saw me love vote. Me not vote for none of them. Because me live in a bag house. And them not help me. So why should I take my foot 
and go out there with my finger, go dip it in a ink, mark X beside El Bell, our head, and go back home, go and sleep in a bag house. As a big 70 year year old man. You know what nothing? You know what nothing? So I don't think you should have a company with a contract neither. Because you're just as stupid as they are. You understand what I say? No disrespect, but that is how me see it. Because if you can get up and go vote for the same people, we push you down in our hole and bury you down there. You know what nothing? You know what nothing? You just give them more power to push you further down in that hole. And that is where the country is going with some of these people that claim to say that they are dieted. They are dieted and nobody now help them and them can't even help themselves. But yet still, they are dieted. They are dieted. You ring a first bell in a mountain view back bush. You. But yet still, you are ring up on that tree right now. So stupid, man. So stupid. But people stay to thought on that down below in the comment section. And as usual, people, remember to leave a like on this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you can stand the truth when me talk, then subscribe to the channel. Turn on the post notification bell. So whenever we drop new content, you will be first to be notified. All right? Big up on yourself. Enough love, enough respect. Thanks for the support. We can't go further your program to deal with that. Oh, well. but thank you very much. No, 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 don't leave me yet. Don't leave me yet. Don't leave me yet. <laughs> Mr. Delroy. Yes, sir. You say you're 72 years old. Yes, sir. And you're now living in St. Elizabeth. Yes, sir. Top burnt ground. Top burnt ground. Yes, yes sir. And uh, you're living on your own plot of land or what? Yes, sir. We serve the clamber up the square land and... The plant, I never have to walk in the night, I'm and juke juke to plant every little thing. Mm -hmm. But I say hungry, I kill we. We are live like dogs. The big cement plastic, plastic bag that we take the coat out of things. My wife now, no children, we now no family. I'm the only man that alone. Oh. And you're coming from Batbush? Yes, sir. When I'm you... a child, my parents said at 2011, bought the clinic, and he said, oh, Miss Longmore, this but she didn't lose the election. Oh, Sapphire Longmore ran there in 2011. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And then w what year you left Batbush? I don't hear you, sir. What year did you leave Batbush? I leave Batbush up 2016, sir. 2016. And yes, you, sir. And you went to where? To top down, um, to, um, back to the window again. We got to sit down in the, the, the tough stand, tough stand. Place, sir. Uh -huh. tough, tough and community. Yes. Clear, clear things, sir. You know, sir, we got a transgated community. And to me and she alone, the little thing we stick it can't work. We have to left out of the town. Why it couldn't work? Why it couldn't work? Why it couldn't work? Why it couldn't work?